Welcome to EcoCentro, our Waste to Wealth Centre. EcoCentro is based on the principle that by localising our water, energy and land needs, we can vastly reduce wastage, food miles and carbon pumped into the atmosphere. This demonstration site is designed to show how communities can drastically reduce their carbon footprint. About a year ago we were looking at all our waste and we, we came up with the concept of uh, creating the Eco Centro Waste to Wealth Centre. The reason for that is to look at all the things that we were throwing out and turning into wealth. Basically we have between one and five tonnes of woody mass per day, so we turn that into charcoal and biochar, which we sequestrate into the soil, and uh, mulch, which we, put, which we make soil from. We also have a lot of plastic waste, which we've reduced, and our other waste streams we, we turn into something valuable. So the idea was to look at all our waste and make it into something worthwhile and valuable. Life on Earth depends on water. EcoCentro employs a zero waste, closed loop sustainable water system. Rainwater from the roof is captured in tanks. This water, along with the overflow, is used for aquatic farming of fish, crustaceans, and also used for hydroponics. Nutrient-rich pond water is used for growing mop crops such as banana, papaya, moringa, avocado and bamboo. It is time to plug ourselves into sustainable sources of energy. Here at Suniva Fushi, we are using excellent green and natural technologies for turning organic waste into valuable natural energy and nutrient-rich soil. At EcoCentro, we are currently using pyrolysis, biogas and solar wind technology. We are also looking at introducing wood gasification that can possibly be used as a power source. When organic materials are heated to approximately 400 degrees Celsius in low oxygen conditions, they undergo a process called pyrolysis. This causes much of the material to turn into gases and the remainder to charcoal and biochar. The carbon is prevented from escaping into the atmosphere as the charcoal retains it. This carbon can be used directly as a fuel source or sequestered into the soil as a conditioner in the form of biochar. The biogas system converts food and human waste to methane, which can be used for cooking, heating or generating electricity. Leftover sludge and nutrient-rich water is used as organic fertiliser. We produce a lot of energy there through our waste wood before we were burning between one and five tonnes a day of wood. All that woody carbon was going to the atmosphere. We now use a system called pyrolysis. So we take the heat energy from the wood and we're left with charcoal, which we, uh, which we give to our kitchen. And we put the biochar in the soil, which is a part of uh, carbon sequestration. So it's the best form of sequestrating energy or carbon into the, into the ground. Um, our next plan is we have uh, solar windmill there which we produce energy from and our next plan is to put a gasification unit in which will give us about 20 kilowatts of energy from our waste wood so we'll produce all our energy at EcoCentro and we'll also produce enough energy for the organic restaurant here and our cinema paradiso that's just from our waste so the return value to us each year is around forty to fifty thousand dollars after our expenditure so it's a very good return on investment and saving on diesel energy. EcoCentro demonstrates how food can be grown in small spaces, allowing rural farmlands to be freed to grow biomass plants and food tree crops. It is designed to maximise the output of food from the waste coming into EcoCentro. The Mandela Garden at EcoCentro is used to grow culinary, medicinal and insect repellent herbs and plants. Bamboo is used as a biomass mop crop as it is known for retaining nutrients in the soil. It is also excellent at absorbing atmospheric carbon and it is used for building furniture. 
All the buildings, mechanisms and structures at Ecocentro have been built to minimise the consumption of electricity and to maximise land use. A perfect example would be how we use gravity to facilitate the flow of different materials into our various systems. For Ecocentro to function efficiently, it is important that we have nutrient-rich soil. Woody waste and coconut is converted into mulch. This mulch, along with biochar and coconut fibre, is mixed with the soil as a conditioner to improve its quality. Anything made from oil can be made from plants. So at Ecocentro, we look at the, the total value of what we can grow there. For example, what we want to do with land use and where we have small amounts of land is grow a lot of food because then that releases bigger parts of land where we can grow biomass that we can turn into plastic and clothing and things like that. So we're setting up a demonstration there of showing people of how we can produce food in very small places. For example, the egg produces a lot of food, it produces fish, it produces liquid uh, fertilizer and it produces vegetables in a very small space. So in the cities we can actually produce a lot of our food and we can free up land to grow crops such as bamboo which we're growing at Ecocentro. Eco Centro. So what we're doing at Ecocentro is um, we're growing bamboo from our wastewater from our sewage treatment plant we'll put on the bamboo, we'll grow biomass, we'll use that biomass for building and construction work and we'll grow food at Ecocentro from all the nutrients we have here. For example we have a lot of food waste coming in. So instead of having that looking at it as a waste, we look at it as an asset. So we grind it up, we turn it into biogas, and we turn it into liquid fertilizer. With that liquid fertilizer, we, we grow food, and we grow biomass, and it all goes back into the system. So it becomes carbon neutral, and we're creating wealth within a very small area. Localization of the water supply will save millions of litres of water and energy used to pump the water. Less water pumped equals less carbon into the atmosphere. Localising energy production reduces energy loss and empowers communities to cater for their own energy needs. Localisation of land use for production cuts down on wastage and emission of carbon into the atmosphere. In the past 20 years, globalisation has been the big cry. Everything's had to be globalised. So food has been globalised. We have food moving all around the world and that's been to the detriment of a lot of local food. Food has become very standardised. What we do in permaculture systems really look at the production of local food, local energy and local water use. So it's very based on what we can produce in a small area within the community, not you know what's going to be produced thousands of miles away and transported here. For example, we bottle our own water here now. Before we used to buy it, and the plastic and water was transported hundreds and sometimes thousands of kilometres, with huge amounts of energy used. Now we have our own bottling plant and we bottle our own water with very high quality. So we need to look at that localisation of water, the localisation of energy and the localisation of land use to produce food. And it's very, a concept very different from globalisation. It means that we really start creating wealth. What globalisation has done is really destroy wealth. What we're about is creating wealth. So localisation is quite different from globalisation. We're certainly not opposed to globalisation. The, the travelling industry, for example, is a global industry, and it's a good industry. It exposes people to different cultures, and it's very, mostly a very positive industry. But to ship oranges to one country and then to another country and ship food all around the world is really a, ra a waste of resources. And it actually destroys wealth. It destroys land and it destroys communities. So we're really about creating wealth in the community through localisation. Environmental Green Garden, egg is a small-scale ecosystem mimicking the larger picture, Mother Nature. The egg is used to grow food and farm fish. Water is collected into a rainwater tank from the roof of the garden, overflowing into ponds housing fish, then into raised kitchen garden beds providing plants with nutrient-rich water. Lower garden beds receive water from the raised gardens which ensure that the water is even richer in nutrients. Deep-rooted plants and trees around the border of the egg draw up sewage water which transpires back into the garden's atmosphere and condenses into water droplets, falling onto the garden, completing the water cycle. Ecocentro employs different methods to reuse inorganic waste material. 
Waste glass from our resort operation is crushed using a glass crusher. This glass is mixed with cement and can be used to produce decorative furniture such as vanity table tops and coffee tables. The crushed glass is further refined and is used as a substitute for sand in construction. The native slow walk at Sanibafushi features indigenous and medicinal plants. Plants were carefully chosen in order to preserve and are grown under the guidance of our horticulturist. Most of these plants are near extinction due to overpopulation and mismanagement of land. Ecocentro is a finite example of how driven we are to find alternative ways of utilising our generated waste, therefore limiting the negative impact of our existence on broader environmental issues. It is our responsibility to preserve the planet for our children and for our generations in hundreds of years to come.